Hi everyone, my name is Heidi, Heidi Sardina, and I own the store TPT, The Lesson Pony. In my store, I sell mostly science lessons, but every once in a while, I do sell a chemistry lesson. Today's lesson is a little bit time sensitive. Not when you can teach it, but when you can get the supplies. This lesson is going to be on genetics. What you do is you go to the dollar store. In the next part of this video, I am going to actually go to the dollar store and show you what materials I'm speaking about. What you do with the supplies is you take the plastic eggs. The plastic eggs, I think you get six. I'll show you later on in the video. You get six and you get gummy bears. Put one gummy bear in each one of the eggs. It's up to you to decide which one you want to be dominant, which color you want to be dominant, which one you want to be recessive. I usually have the green as a recessive trait, so you need two green gummy bears in order to get that phenotype. The reason why I picked the green is just because that way you're able to discuss again phenotypes, genotypes, and you're able to discuss the fact that green is chlorophyll. Today, we have two more of the lesson ponies. This is Ginger. She's an older girl and a little baby surprise. In one second, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you a little surprise. This will show you why it's so important to know your genetics. Please, if you like this video, subscribe. Also, if you like to have me film any videos, which um, you can use for your classroom for very low money, just let me know. So that's a basic procedure and in the next se section I am going to go to the dollar store and show you exactly what the supplies are. Thank you for viewing and now you're going to meet two of the lessons. At my home. favorite store, the dollar store. You can get 18 of the egg hunt kit for only a dollar twenty-five. This would be more than enough to keep your classroom going. As I said earlier, put one gummy bear into each one, decide which color is going to be dominant and which color is going to be recessive. Have the students go around the classroom combining gummy bears so you have two alleles. At that point, decide what color your gummy bears are going to be. Use um, the gummy bears here, or another thing you can use is you can use the twin snakes I've also had very good luck with the berries. You have the red and the black berries and you can decide to, um, which are dominant and which are recessive. At the end, what you're going to do is have the students graph the phenotypes and the genotypes. It's up to you to decide how many generations you're going Thanks to go. For the surprise and her mom, Ginger. You can see how small little surprise is. She is a dwarf. With miniature horses, you very, very seldom see dwarfs. The reason being is they have so many health issues. It should be noted that her father came from a very, very good bloodline, but this is a problem that occurs often with miniature horses. I'm going to put into the video below a website. They're doing a lot of work with genetics now and you're not going to see as many dwarf horses.